The four-step method to high-performance trading and the seven-step daily routine for high-performance traders are both free downloads. The four-step method for high-performance trading is about de developing the mindset and the routines to increase your competence and your ability to execute your trading edge in a live trading environment. Constant progress. Seven-step daily routine for high-performance traders is an audio program download designed to help traders bulletproof their day-to-day -day habits, discipline, and develop a winning mindset. Again, the link is in the description box below. They're free downloads. Let's get started. Just reminding traders if they're new to this channel or if this is the first time you've seen this video, if you go to this playlist, everything you need is in this playlist as it is titled. We go over the templates, the timings, the levels, the behavior of price. This will help to bulletproof your understanding of the best trade setups in the playbook. Again, these are free videos on the YouTube channel to support and enhance the skills and the development of your trading prowess within the playbook itself. Everything you need is in this playlist. Hey traders, Stacy Burke from Stacy Burke Trading. Uh, it's the weekend. Uh, today we're gonna be going over templates, Monday to Friday templates, and understanding not only a weekly template, but what a well-engineered template is on the day itself for identifying a parabolic trade setup. Now I've uh, had several questions, and last week I sort of stepped back to help my son and also uh, just focus on trading and um, working on some other setups, some other material. And today we're going to go and cover the big picture, which ties in with everything that is in the playlist, uh, uh, reinforcing the power of parabolic opportunities. Parabolic opportunities are coiled markets that explode and go vertically uh, either very fast or just unidirectionally for an entire session or maybe one hour, two hour, three hours. And these are the types of trade setups, as I mentioned in my post, that have a can't lose stamped on the front of them. And, and it has to do with understanding what's driving that move, whether it's a reversal or a trend trade. And typically these moves over the course of a week are driven by other time frame traders. So just a basic overview, Monday to Friday is the template. Monday opens the week, Friday closes the week. It's simple, it's reproducible, scalable, and repeating over and over again. And so are the setups. The same setups show up every week. We'll talk about those in a moment. They're gonna be one of two types when it breaks down to a well-engineered chart on the day itself. Now, depending on which session you focus on, some traders uh, trade multiple sessions or Asia, uh, London or London, New York or Asia, New York, front side, back side. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, we can have one trade in an entire week that is a, uh, a sizable, scalable parabolic opportunity that may come on a Thursday on the back side of a week or it may come on a Friday as a trend trade or even a reversal at the end of the week. But it's scalable, it's sizable. It may come on a, on a Tuesday out of a three-day setup, returning back to potentially maybe Friday being the high of the previous week, uh, Friday day uh, beginning a three-day setup on into a Tuesday day two in the new week for a parabolic opportunity potentially maybe in London or it could happen in Asia. Uh, depending on the session that you're trading, session trades will offer different timing opportunities on different instruments and sometimes nothing at all. So you can have a move in Asia and London or a move in London. Traders want to attack it in the U.S. window and it goes into consolidation. They're trying to trade it on the inside. There's actually not a trade set up there. They're trying to trade it though, which... Uh, emphasizing the difference between an actual trade setup versus taking a trade. And there are other proprietary high yielding trade setups. There are other high yielding opportunities based on these templates Monday to Friday. Uh, currently, I don't want to go there just yet uh, for obvious reasons. Some of them are rebranded. They've been resold or modified. Uh, they're showing up everywhere. And so giving more setups uh, at this current time is not my main objectives, but uh, hopefully will help master the existing ones. These other proprietary high yielding trade setups are based off of the same templates. So mastering the Monday to Friday template, 
Uh, and these opportunities alone can significantly compound a small trading account. Now, basically, there are, you know, I've broken this into five types of days. Uh, essentially, a couple of these fall into the same categories. Uh, but we'll talk about the types of days slash weeks, uh, longer time frame, same, same model. A trend day will typically open at one level and close at the other extreme. This is on a daily time frame or a weekly time frame. Uh, it can be a, a bull candle or a bear candle, but it will typically close on the opposite end of the range of the trading day. Now, depending on the instrument that you're trading, the, the volatility and the, the daily range itself will vary from candle to candle, but a trend day will open at one level near, near the low and close a significant distance or an average daily range or a daily range away and close near the extreme on the other end, whether it's an up day or a down day. A doji uh, can in some cases be a narrow range day or a normal range day, but it will close somewhat either near near where the open of the day was, whether that's forming a sort of up high, uh, closing up high near the open of the day, closing down low near the open of the day, or closing somewhere in the middle, a doji day. Now we'll have inside days. Inside days are a day that close, or sorry, they have their high and the low are inside of the previous day's range. We've talked about these in the playbook uh, as a signal day, uh, but more importantly, whether it's a week or a day, the high and the low of the day is inside of the previous day or previous week, and in some cases, previous monthly high-low range. An outside day is a day that will open up near one level, take out the previous day's high, take out a previous day's low, and close as a down day. So we can have an outside day that resembles a trend day, and in often cases can be part of what's called a key reversal or a reversal type of pattern. Uh, we won't go too far into that. The same thing can occur on the other extreme. It can open down uh, down near the low of the day, take out a daily level, reverse, and climb higher, taking out the other side of the daily range, and close up near the high. And we'll typically can see this sometimes after an inside day, and what Al Brooks also calls an IOI pattern that can present uh, when the outside day is the middle day of a three-day pattern. Now, the other type of candle that or, or pin uh, bar chart that we can see, which is, again, there's, whether they're candles or bar charts, it's irrelevant, is a pin day, a day that will open, climb higher or lower, but will have a long wick at the low of the day below the opening price, come back up and close above the open. Sometimes we'll see this as a first green day reversal, low of the week, low of the month, uh, taking out significant weekly or monthly levels or just reversing. And the same thing applies um, for the bearish direction, opening uh, down near the low of the day, climbing significantly higher, in some cases taking out levels, other daily or weekly levels, reversing and closing below the open, and in some cases can also be a first red day. Why is any of that important? Well, it's important if you understand that Monday to Friday, uh, searching for best trade candidates for parabolic setups is different than trying to trade a market every day because here's a level, here's a level, I'm gonna try and buy it or sell it, uh, as opposed to identifying a specific type of setup. As I said before, 90-10 opportunity where it has a can't lose stamped on it. If you don't understand what that means, that means you don't understand the setups. There's a difference between attacking a market that is going to go parabolically versus trying to trade a market that's going to give you some pips. So two types of trade setups, when we get into that situation, whether it's on a day two, whether it's on a, a three-day setup, free cash Wednesday, or free cash Friday, the closing range of the week, we will break down typically into two types of templates on a well-engineered daily chart. And that is a pump and a dump, or a dump and a pump template. Now, sometimes we can see this occur over three sessions such as Asia, London, New York, 
We can see this over a three day setup, day one, day two, day three, maybe on day four, which is day two on the back side of our week. Wednesday resets and becomes day one, Thursday, day two, Friday, day three, free cash Friday. We can even see this occur over a weekly template in a new month because a new month is a new timing cycle. I've talked about that in the other videos. You can go and look at your daily charts. But we can have a week one, week two, week three that can form a dump and pump template or a pump and dump template over a longer time frame in a monthly timing cycle. Now, why is this important? Because it's important understanding that Monday to Friday, you are in a template. Monday to Friday templates. Monday is day one. Why? Because it's the first day of the week. Now, I'll say this right away so that people... Um, I know that several traders understand this now, but I will repeat this. Monday is day one. It's a new timing cycle. It's a new week. This is different from a three-day setup. I repeat, a Monday to Friday template is different from a three-day setup. Now, this is what is important to understand is that Monday to Friday is a template. Monday is day one. It is the opening range. It opens the week. It's the opening price in a new week and the opening range in a new week. Tuesday is day two. Now, in a large percentage of cases, by the time Monday and Tuesday has printed, one of those extremes will tend to hold. Now, what that means is we may move away from Monday's opening range, but by the end of the week, we may trade back to it on Free Cash Friday or on, on Wednesday or on Thursday. Um, and we have a dump and pump template or a pump and dump template that can take it out at the end of the week or trade through it at the end of the week. It becomes a reference point because that is the opening range. We've talked about opening range breakouts. We've talked about three-day setups. We've talked about day three parabolics on Wednesday and Fridays, and we've talked about three days of breakout traders in the markets. So Monday's day one, it opens the week. Tuesday is day two, and that forms our initial balance. That's the initial high-low of the week. Same thing as if we had Asia-London. That forms our initial high-low. There are going to be specific templates that offer parabolic opportunities. There's going to be other templates that are not yet set up or not set up for a parabolic opportunity. Understand that. So just because it's day two, on the euro pound does not mean that on Wednesday it is actually set up for a trade. So if the euro pound is your favorite instrument and you miss out on the NASDAQ giving a parabolic trade on Wednesday because you're fixated on a poor quality instrument that is not set up but you're still trying to trade it, that's taking trades versus identifying the best candidate on the day in the session that you're trading for easy free cash. Now Wednesday resets into day one. Wednesday is the midpoint range of the week. We will look at templates today and we'll break this down in a very simple manner. Monday to Friday, that is all you are ever trading. In any given week, on any given day, you are on one of these days between Monday and Friday in a week, in a template. The, the concern is, are you actually on a template that offers you an opportunity? And on the day itself, are you on a well-engineered template that gives you a parabolic opportunity for easy, free cash? On the back side, Thursday is day two, and Friday is day three, and that is the closing range of the week. Why is that? Because Friday closes out the week. Monday opens the week, Friday closes the week, and Wednesday is the midpoint range of the week. Now within Monday to Friday templates, we are going to have several instruments that will offer us parabolic trade setups. Now the key thing to understand is that Trying to force your will onto an instrument that is not set up is where traders can get caught into impulsive, emotional, and irrational behavior. Uh, trying to trade a poor quality setup. Perhaps there's major red news that can alter 
that template on that instrument or on some instruments in certain sessions throughout the week. So the calendar plays a role in that. We've talked about that. But that does not interfere with us still mapping out a template in any instrument over the course of the week based on Monday to Friday. And then, of course, we've talked about signal days. Now in the playbook, we've gone over three-day setups, three-session setups, the opening range and initial balance send. The templates, once you understand the templates, it gets very easy to, number one, identify breakout traders that are in the markets for either a trend trade opportunity in the session that you're trading or a reversal trade opportunity, depending on the day and the session and where we are at. Have we broken any weekly levels? Are we... Are we inside of every previous weekly high low, as we just talked about on the types of days and weeks? Do we have a first red day? Do we have a first green day? So some clarification needs to happen with first red day, first green day, because traders are constantly calling a down day, any down day, first red day. And the same thing applies for first green day. So often they'll see a first green day that sets up with a sell high signal or a first red day that sets up with a buy low signal on the day, a dump and pump template, and they miss an easy parabolic trade setup because they're fixated on calling a down closing day first red day that is not a first red day trade signal. And the same applies for first green day. And then of course the inside day one of the most powerful opportunities that can present on certain markets because that represents a narrow range coil and, and depending on where and when in that week that it presents can offer significant sizable scalable opportunities in the session that you're trading i want to emphasize some important uh, aspects about these setups. I'm targeting asymmetrical risk reward. I'm not trying to catch a move and get a one to one or a two to one opportunity. Over the course of a week, if you're trading an instrument that has a reason that's had three levels of movement, so we talk about that in the playbook, we've talked about that in, in several videos, the last video in particular, but those levels of movement are not necessarily uh, where the trades are. Traders get fixated on an instrument that, that's moved, but uh, so, for example, if I trade the U.S. window and, and twice this previous week a market moves in Asia and then a couple days later in London, think about what's happening there. They're moving further away in earlier sessions. Uh, the immediate thought on my mind is free cash Friday because it's the, the last session on a Friday which closes out the week. They move it earlier when it costs them less money to move the market, pump, 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 or a dump, 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 getting traders to trade further and further away from their and the target that they're going to be going after at the closing range of the week. So think about this. The entire week may open and close at the same level. It may it may close further away from, from the opening uh price which typically will be right around the close of the previous week and again there are several proprietary trading high yielding models at this point we won't go into those just yet uh, but what i want to emphasize is you make money on scalable parabolic opportunities we've talked about range expansions that's where asymmetrical five to one ten to one twenty to one risk reward opportunities can present we'll go through um a few instruments, we'll just look at different weeks, different templates, uh, just to emphasize the point of simplicity. Uh, several traders, uh, I think, are struggling a bit because they're trying to trade every day and get move, get movement, and they miss out on some easy parabolic opportunities. Just developing the process of being able to flip through an instrument and understand where you're at in that template will narrow it down to two or three candidates on any given day in the session that you're trading for one or two high probability opportunities without getting fixated on three or four markets just because they move. Uh, then you miss out on easy opportunities and you miss the bigger templates. You miss the opportunity for the greedy bastard trade uh, because you're so fixated on catching movement in a session or scalping in and out and you miss the larger easy money. A lot of stuff is getting uh, convoluted. It's very simple. The model is very simple. It's Monday to Friday. 
the opportunities, the best trade candidate setups are based on Monday to Friday. Monday's day one, it is the opening range of the week. So when I get a lot of emails or questions about the day count changing and everything else, go back to the beginning of this uh, presentation, Monday to Friday. Monday is day one. Tuesday is day two. Wednesday is day three. Wednesday resets and becomes the midpoint range of the week. Thursday's day two. Friday's day three. Every week will be different, but you will be able to skim through a basket of instruments, regardless of the type of template, to filter out one or two opportunities every single day. There are parabolic trades every single day in multiple sessions for easy free cash. The parabolic opportunities are zero stress, very little heat, and scalable in size. Understand that. So when I get a question like, well, you never show your losing trades because I'm trading winning setups. I am not trying to trade the market. When that penny drops, you'll stop taking trades and you'll start developing your expertise on what a parabolic opportunity is. And then hopefully you will stop taking losing trades, which are 50-50, based on trying to sell highs and buy lows and catch moves and everything else at random times, which comes back to understanding also uh, when we have certain types of setups, there are going to be other very, very high yielding opportunities based on timings, which are specific to these trade setups. And again, at this particular time, we're not going to go there. We're going to develop a very, very firm grasp understanding of the larger templates and the Monday to Friday model. So we talk about the types of days and weeks in the, in the previous part of this presentation. We had talked about trending weeks. We have a market that's opened down near the low before closing higher. Now again, you'll notice I have no levels or anything on here because it's irrelevant. It's irrelevant to mastering the process. Later, when you master the process, put the levels back on. So we have our opening range. We have an opening range breakout on day two. That's our initial balance. Monday's our opening range. Tuesday's our initial balance. I said to you that in a large percentage of cases that uh, by the time the end of the week prints, one of those extremes will tend to hold or be the magnet for the return. So again, we're going to go through different weeks, but we talked about week one, week two, week three, week four in a monthly chart, a daily chart. So we're looking at a daily chart of gold here. We talked about the change when a new month starts. These black dotted lines are a new month. You can look at any instrument. When a new month starts, we have a new timing set cycle, and we will often see opportunities towards the end or the beginning of a new month. New month, new timing cycle. Lock in the book, book the profits, and start the game again. So we have our midpoint range of the week, day one, day two, day three. We're not going to talk about first green days. We're not going to talk about first red days or inside days. We'll, we'll point them out, but for the purpose of this, mastering the process. It's the process that will make you the money because that's what helps you with instrument selection. Not trying to figure out what this might do tomorrow or what it's done already other than understanding the template. Monday's the opening range. Day one, day two. Day three is a reset. And also in this particular case, an inside day. And this is where traders get uh, caught saying it's a, it's a first red day because it's a down closing day. But we haven't even broken a weekly level. But we've broken out of the opening range. Now, this potentially could break down the next day. But more importantly, we have a market that's broken out of the opening range. We have breakout traders in the market. Day one, day two, day three. Then we have our reset. Now, remember, depending on the, the, the session that you're trading, so for people who want predictions, uh, I'm coming to the screen to trade New York. Uh, so I'm looking at what, what instrument is set up, not... Where do I think gold is going? Does it offer me a parabolic opportunity? It's already moved in the London window. That's a parabolic opportunity. Breakout, pullback. We have a three session set up in the London window. I'm not even going to worry about news calendar, but we have Wednesday, Thursday, and we look for parabolic opportunities on free cash Friday. There are two types. There are trend trades and there are reversal trades. 
Now the market moves higher right at the rollover and gives a parabolic trade in the London Europe London window. Day one, day two, day three blows off in the direction of the trend, giving traders a reversal for a parabolic reversal opportunity uh, after major red news. That was a 10 a.m. news release for the collapse back down into breakout traders. Now, you'll also notice just in a simple, really basic understanding, we have level one. We'll just we'll color this in just to make it simple. We have level two, and we have a market blowing off into the third level on Free Cash Friday for Europe London traders, and then also offering a reversal opportunity in the US window after major red news at the high of the week, the high of the month, the high of the day for easy free cash. Day one, day two, day three. Uh, again, there might have been opportunities front side, uh, US window. Whether that's after a news catalyst, we had an inside day on Wednesday, breakout pullback, still inside of a weekly high, breaks the weekly high in the rollover, comes back to the breakout, consolidates, breakout, pullback, consolidation, parabolic move, Europe, London window, and the reversal back into our breakout from the Europe window through the Asian high of the day. Monday opens the week, Friday closes the week. We have one, two, three days above the opening range. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, continuing in the direction of the trend for the blow-off move, a trend trade, and then a reversal opportunity, three levels of rise in the U.S. window. Now, we'll follow that through to the next week, and, and I want to point out, uh, we can follow this day by day, but, but by no means does it mean that in any given session, there was actually a five-star opportunity. Now, clearly on Free Cash Friday, we had two fantastic opportunities. We had a parabolic trade on day two on the Tuesday on the front side. But other than that, I at this point, just glancing from a distance, I do not see anything that was otherwise a five-star opportunity that was a best trade candidate out of the playbook. And what that means was there was probably... Out of 19 other pairs that I can look at, there was probably easy free cash, possibly on the Monday, the Wednesday, maybe even the Thursday, but gold gave us two beautiful five-star opportunities on day two on Tuesday and on free cash Friday. So if we follow that same process across, I know this was uh, during Christmas time, and actually for simplicity, we'll, we'll go to the, the, the week that just most recently traded now we have our closing range of the week heading into our new week closing range friday's range uh, in this particular case thursday formed our low friday friday's low and and friday's high is our closing range of the week now monday was an inside day we had martin luther king day and so we had a higher peak formation and on day two we broke out of that U.S. session peak formation low inside day. Uh, so for traders who want to just keep it even simpler, we broke out of the low of the inside day. Not a failed breakout. Uh, we have a breakout. Uh, failed breakouts brings up another issue. We'll, we won't talk about that. We're just going to talk about the template because when there's no levels on here other than weekly levels, and then understanding the opening range and initial balance, day one, day two, day three, and the midpoint range of the week, Wednesday, and our closing range, we can target high yielding opportunities and parabolic trade setups. So we have our day one, day two, continuing in the direction of the breakout, and day three, giving us a nice parabolic day three trend trade on free cash Wednesday in the US session, session one, session two, session three, blowing off in the direction of the trend. On Wednesday, that forms our new midpoint range of the week. Thursday is an inside day. We have a market that is now working its way back inside and breaks the high of the day at the beginning of our Friday session in Asia. Now, traders in the Europe London window had an opportunity for a day three parabolic trend trade, 
in the direction of the reversal that had begun on our midpoint range of the week. Now, we've talked about parabolic channels. If we take the bodies and close this in, we have a market that is now coiling. And remember, we're going back and looking at this after the fact, because why? Hindsight pays. So when we come into Free Cash Friday, which is our closing range of the week, we have a market that gives traders in the Europe window a parabolic trade setup back to the high of Wednesday, depending on where they got filled in the area of 75 to 100 pips. Now, one important thing that you're going to uh, understand is that, again, on, on instruments, it's about where is my best opportunity for risk reward on any given day in the session that I'm trading. So obviously we had an opportunity. Uh, we can go back to the simple process, opening range, initial balance, which we've gone over several times. Asia London forms opening range, initial balance on any given day, and that forms a box. There was an opportunity heading into our second hour for the reversal, uh, but targeting, understanding what your your range is, the opportunity, the breakout of Asia occurred in the area roughly around 250. So 50 uh, major round numbers. The high of our uh, Wednesday session uh, heading into the U.S. window is at 329. So we've got a 75 pip range, which is fantastic risk reward opportunity if you're selling high. The second hour opens and we're up at 350. Now we have a 100 pip range back to our breakout level. Now remember, I'm not going to break this down uh, because I want to look at other instruments. I want to hammer home the templates. Uh, but on the day itself, we've already broken outside of daily high levels the hourly rotation and the behavior of price. Uh, the levels are, are not important to understand the template, a dump and pump template offering us a reversal opportunity in line with our uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday reversal trade back to the high of the midpoint range of the week. Now, if you want to understand simple about uh, something simple about timings, put your hourly chart up and understand that the majority of these moves and opportunities that we're looking at start at the end or the beginning of the new hour pin hammer new hour heading into the new york open for an easy 75 pip collapse back down into the breakout traders from the parabolic move in the europe window but the template is a dump consolidation pump midpoint range of the week Day one, day two, day three reversal, offering a session reversal after the news. But was this the best opportunity? Well, let's take a look at some of the other instruments. Now, this is West Texas, and uh, simple process again, the same process applies uh, just in simple terms. We'll just start off with our closing range of the week, Friday. Uh, Friday put in the high of the week. And so Friday's closing range of the week may be important. We break out on Monday. That forms our opening range. That's our initial high low for the week. Tuesday goes outside of that high low. And remember the types of days that we talked about. We're inside of Friday's closing range. It breaks Friday's low of day first before trading back inside and going taking out the low of Monday in our Europe London window. So on the front side, breaking lower, opening range, a smaller pump and dump template, which could also be called a first red day. Now I want you to understand something if you're calling every down day a first red day is that we actually took out the high of the week first and then closed below the open. We went lower triggering breakouts, triggering shorts into the market before pumping back up, taking out the day, the daily high on uh, the opening range of the week. So an opening range breakout that fails, engulfment pin hammer US window, before closing back down below the open. Now just the obvious visual of 
trapped volume above the Asia and London lows. Day three goes parabolic in the direction of the original breakout in our Europe open. Day one, day two, day three. Now, Wednesday is the midpoint range of the week and resets to a day one. We have a double bottom engulfment reversal in our U.S. window that gives traders a reversal opportunity at the low of the week. Now, I want you to think about something. They went higher on day two before dumping down and going parabolic in the Europe-London window. Higher high on the inside. We have a larger dump and pump template, a first green day opportunity. First green day is a day that closes above the open. A day that closes above the open and is a buy low opportunity in the session if indeed it presents. They continue to make higher highs throughout the day heading into our US window a dump and pump template on uh, sorry Thursday day two on the backside Wednesday is a reset and forms our day one heading into the closing range of the week day one a day two parabolic opportunity on Thursday that continues to go higher a higher high again on the inside of the previous weekly high is a dump and pump template the market dumps down in the London window before pumping back up to the high of the week. We have volume that's now been broken underneath of the Asia session, a lower low on the inside. So this is a fantastic example, again, where traders get caught and fixated on the fact that this should go back to the high of the week. We've made a lower low on the inside. They take out the high of the week. So when we get a day three parabolic opportunity, so the market's gone higher, they dump down and pump up. Second hour, third hour opens up high at the high of the week. We have traded to the high of the week, the current week, for the reversal opportunity in the U.S. session. Hour one, hour two. Hour three on Free Cash Friday. Now, comparing this to gold, we have an opportunity now where the market is trading up around $74.50. The low of this range is down at $73.50, a $1 range from high of week to low of day. And now, obviously, there's more profit to be obtained if this market continues to not only go lower. We're not talking about any other levels today. We're just talking about the templates, day one, Day two, day three, opening range, midpoint range of the week, which resets to day one, day two, day three. So emphasizing again that I'm hunting out setups. I'm not trying to force my will on any given market because it's a day, it's Wednesday or it's Thursday or it's Friday because I've got a new day count that I'm coming up with because it broke a level or whatever. The templates are the same every week, Monday to Friday. The question is, is, are you identifying an instrument that offers you a five-star a five star parabolic opportunity? Canadian dollar offered a couple of fantastic opportunities, as did several other pairs. We'll uh, look at an index, and then we'll wrap this up. Uh, again, the importance of understanding this th simplicity of the process and the templates and, and actually what a parabolic opportunity is. So we have our opening range on Monday that actually just slightly pins through the high of the week on uh, Monday day one day two continues in the direction of the trend in Asia for a nice parabolic opportunity on day two a day two trend trade on our Tuesday beginning of the week now again understanding just little subtle things did the market give us a, an opportunity uh, or an indication of that it may, may head in that direction. Paul Tudor Jones, if a market is giving you an indication of a potential range expansion or giving you a signal that it's going to potentially move in the direction for a range expansion, pay attention. So we have day one, day two, midpoint range of the week. Still climbing higher. Uh, let's look at it a simple way. Uh, now we have 
three levels of rise. We have level one, possibly. Level two, really simple stuff. And level three, continuing in the direction of the trend in Asia on Wednesday, day three, the midpoint range of the week. And lo and behold, on Thursday, on the backside, we have an inside day. Day one, day two, day three, inside day, and a first red day. So we have a breakout of a weekly level. Day one, day two, day three, still going higher. Uh, as I've talked about multiple times, front side versus back side. An opportunity for a parabolic short trade in the Europe London window, a session trade. And an opportunity for a short trade after the New York Open and major red news at 10 a.m. So again, we're on the hourly chart, uh, but we're on the back side now and we've broken the inside day levels. So template and then finessing best fill, whether it's after the news, before the news, and potentially targeting now our new initial balance low doesn't get there, we close it out before the end of the week. Day one, day two, we formed a new higher low in our London window on day two. Front side, uh, this market offered 40, roughly 40 pips after major red news in a vertical parabolic collapse on free cash Friday. Uh, we had 10 a.m. news, but again, what type of template do we have here? We're on the back side and we're pumping up prior to major red news into the New York Open and we go back up pin hammer engulfment lower low again on the inside taking out the higher lows timings levels behavior of price we pump it up into our major red news traders can take positions if they're going to trade this and understand that this is an opportunity even though it pulls back to potentially add in if they're trading later in the day now coming back and just looking at the larger template we're just looking at a very basic model, day one, day two, day three, inside day, first red day, and a parabolic reversal on free cash Friday on the Canadian dollar. We broke out of weekly levels. We have our opening range, our midpoint range of the week, and our closing range of the week. Now this was my favorite trade setup this week, and to me on, well, even on Thursday, this was starting to scream free cash Friday. And, uh, this is a fantastic uh, example, and it was a great opportunity for several traders to compound their account uh, for a couple of reasons. And we'll just go back to the process. We have a high of the week level, high of the week level uh, that was in place uh, before the week started. Imagine that. Uh, so again, coming back to some simple things, hindsight pays. Martin Luther King Day, it's a holiday. They break out on Tuesday, day two, make a lower low before popping back up and just slightly pipping the high of the day. Remember the inside day false break trade opportunity out of the playbook, uh, but that market closed back inside. And there's our initial balance. Remember initial balance, opening range initial balance. That forms our initial high low for the week, but we haven't broken any daily, sorry, any weekly levels. We've broken Friday's low, but you'll notice Closing range of the week high low, Friday's an inside day, is our Thursday. Thursday was our closing range high low of the week. Friday's an inside day. So is Monday, a double inside day. They break out. Put that line back in for people to see. Break out on uh, Tuesday before collapsing down and going parabolic in the U.S. window on Wednesday. That market reversed into the end of the session for consolidating sideways and going parabolic in the Europe London session up to the high of the week. That market consolidated sideways at the high before continuing later in the day, heading into our new day, free cash Friday. Now, whenever this happens, the first thing that I'm always uh, looking at is the fact that we are in a larger rectangle. Peter Brandt, rectangles, consolidations, a large opportunity for a range expansion trade setup. Asia is our opening range. By the time Europe and London have traded, we have our initial balance. 
there is our box on Free Cash Friday. There are two types of opportunities that I look for on Free Cash Friday. Parabolic trend trades and parabolic reversal trades. Now, you will also observe that if we look at a market that has split its opening range and broken out, we now have potentially on day three, level one, level two, level three. And I love what Jim Rogers says, just by sitting on your hands and waiting until there is money laying on the floor, once it's there, you can just walk over, bend down, and pick it up. Monday's our opening range and is day one. Tuesday is day two. Wednesday is day three. That is the midpoint range of the week and resets as day one. Thursday is day two. We can have trades on Tuesday and Thursday that are parabolic session trade opportunities and in some cases may offer us a reversal on a Thursday. There are different templates every week, but on Free Cash Friday, we now have the opportunity for a possible parabolic trend trade and a range expansion opportunity of our opening range initial balance on day three, not only from the larger rectangle, but from the rectangle that forms on day three, session one, session two, blowing off in the direction of the trade. This was a free cash Friday to remember. Why? Because it's scalable in size. So I really want to emphasize keeping it really simple. You are in a Monday to Friday template. If you convolute it down with all kinds of other gibberish and junk, you will miss the easy setups. Trade setups, not trading movement. There is a specific well-engineered design on the day over the course of the week on the day itself, or there isn't. If a market is not well engineered and set up on the day, why would you want to trade it? Uh, go back and watch the video two videos ago on what a well engineered chart is. If you're not sure, you should go back and study these because these are the types of opportunities, as we saw on Friday, where the market is not coming back, which means you can load in or I load in. This is a five star opportunity. Why is that? Because I'm targeting a range expansion trade setup. We didn't get there all the way on Friday, but we could be going for two full expansions of this lower rectangle range. Now, whether or not that opportunity happens in my session isn't my concern, but hunting out the best setup on any given day in the session that I'm trading is my concern. Keep it simple traders. I'm trying to sim simplify and emphasize the, the fantastic opportunities that keep on coming. They will not change. That is how this game works. It is a zero-sum game. Keep it simple. Monday to Friday templates. Monday is day one. Wednesday is day three. Resetting to day one. And Friday is day three. If you're convoluting the day count and changing all kinds of stuff, you have not yet understood the power of parabolic trade opportunities. Keep it simple, keep getting better, and may the markets go with you.